Thank you. Thank you. A key part of the Hall's mission is to inspire our women and our girls to, to take informed action and advocate on their own behalf. It isn't often that we have the opportunity to hear from such a distinguished group of experts. So tonight, we've asked each one of our 2016 Women's Wellness honorees to share her personal response to this question. What is the single most important thing a woman can do to increase her well-being? Ladies. A key part of increasing wellness is having access to safe, healthy, and affordable food. Many people feel like the food system is too big to change, but don't underestimate how much power we each have as individuals. We vote three times a day with our forks. The food industry values the trust of the women who are the primary grocery shoppers. Speak up, write letters, your voice matters. The food industry will listen, and together we will ensure a healthier future for our children and ourselves. The most important relationship in a woman's life is her relationship with herself. Our self-talk can empower or diminish us. In a culture so demanding and dismissive of women, we need to be rebels, stop apologizing for not being perfect, and start believing that we are good enough as we are, simply good enough. I think that the single most important thing a woman can do to increase her well-being is to achieve her own balance. And that includes being able to find moments of peace and joy in everyday life, physical and mental work, and connections with family, friends, and animals. My advice is to keep your immune system in excellent condition as this is the single most important body part that ensures that you stay healthy. Diet, exercise, and most of all happiness will make that happen. But we can support our immune system by boosting it with flu block. <laughs> so that your immune system doesn't get distracted by flu viruses that might make it weaken or distract it. So take my advice tonight and remember that you have the power to choose the vaccines and the products that are right for you. Well-being involves several routines, such as eating healthy, being physically active, hanging with inspiring people, laughing out loud, and counting your blessings daily. If you have dense breast tissue like me, advocate for added screening to your mammogram to avoid missed, delayed, and advanced stage breast cancer as your life matters. Hashtag, are you dense? Imagine the self as that unique combination of traits that make you you. The path to a life of well-being then becomes find yourself, love yourself, share yourself, which we do through our recording, writing, and editing of words. Use your words, leaving them trapped inside your head or in the back of your throat when you have something to contribute, no matter how unsettling it may be to others, only leads to regret. Words have the power to expand the space you occupy in the world, challenge bad decisions, speak truth to power, say I love you to your kids, don't leave your best material in your notebook. The single most important thing a woman can do to increase her well-being is to become educated. Education equips us to make our place in this world as well as to provide for ourselves and our families. In addition, learning about our own health helps us to attain the self-care that we need to succeed in living lives that are productive, rewarding, and richly blessed. 
While there is no single one thing that we can do collectively as women, what we can do is take the opportunity to support and mentor one another as we seek balance, peace, and prosperity in our personal and professional lives. Contribute in a meaningful way. Leverage your unique talents, expertise, experience, and skill set to drive needed transformation, particularly in healthcare. And execute with great passion and confidence. I'm deeply honored to speak for my aunt, Dr. Virginia Sturmer. In my field, there have been many extraordinary advances, but to my mind, perhaps the most important achievement has been the effect of safe and reliable contraception on the lives of women. When a woman discovers she has reproductive rights and is able to exercise them, she may become more self-reliant and more aware of how these rights bear on her health and the health of her family. By achieving control over her body, she might also discover the benefits of economic independence. Such discoveries are transformational for her, for her family, and indeed for the world. Ladies and gentlemen, a final word of applause for our 2016 Women's Wellness Honorees. Congratulations.